We went on a road trip in the summer of 2013 to find out what's working in new church planting, what's not working in new church planting, and to dream about a better future for church planting in the United States. The goal was to uh, visit as many of the 684 new churches that had been planted between 2008 and 2012. And we went across the United States in every jurisdiction. So we went in the Northeast, South Central, Southeast, um, Western jurisdiction as well as North Central. And we had a blast. Path one, we don't actually plant churches. The work of church planting rests within an annual conference. Each one of our annual conferences, they set their own goals, they do the work of church planting. What we do as Path One staff is our role is to resource the work of church planting that's happening in annual conferences. We had an opportunity to visit lots of planters who are out there bringing people into the life of the church, making disciples of Jesus Christ. There are also some richly innovative new church plants that are out there that we learned about. So Union is a new kind of nonprofit coffee shop. We exist to take care of the well-being of our neighborhood. And we do that in three key ways. Outstanding coffee, robust community, and engaging causes. It's a crazy thing to start a new church. And it's an additionally crazy thing to start a new kind of nonprofit. And a whole nother thing to, to start a new small business. And we did all three at the same time. It took a lot of bravery and support on the part of the annual conference to, to back us on something like this. You know, our goal here is to experiment with alternative ways of being church so that we might change not only the way the church functions in America, but also hopefully the way that businesses function. But we hope that we can be a part of a movement that yields a bigger change across the denomination, across the country across the church and into the world. Nothing big's ever accomplished with mediocre goals. I went on the road trip last summer so that I could see what's going on in the new churches that are part of the jurisdiction. So there were more than 160 of the congregations and I was able to visit about 50 of them. In my territory, one of the things that's working really well is multi-site ministries. And there are some really cool venues where multi-site ministry is taking place. One of my favorites is called Encounter. And this worship experience takes place in this redone opera house that's just warm and welcoming and inviting. And it's the second site of Watertown Cornerstone Church. Uh, there are multiple generations, multiple socioeconomic status. It's just a really fun environment and people that are very diverse that are enjoying worship and enjoying one another. Uh, the road trip was to really get to a place where we can learn from our planters on the field to see uh, what they were doing, what was working for them, where they might need some help, and also maybe what's not working for them that they thought was going to be successful and turned out uh, that it wasn't. Some of the successes that I was really excited about especially was the fact that we were seeing Hispanic churches, new ones, growing faster and one of the vehicles was the fact that they were using small group ministries. And in some cases, they, they use small group ministry to actually start the church, or in other cases, if it had been uh, a start that had at least two or three years, they were using it to actually grow the church to a larger size. We have a lot to celebrate in the South Central jurisdiction, 146 new churches. And among them, there are inspiring, amazing stories. But on my road trip, I also experienced some challenges. Some of our new church planters are repeating old mistakes, launching too soon, launching too small, neglecting evangelism, networking, stewardship. And some of our planters are alone and isolated. These planters and their families need more personal support. We visited the southeastern jurisdiction during our road trip and there are 13 annual conferences and we visited almost 76 churches that have been planted across that jurisdiction. And what we found is that within that jurisdiction they have annual conferences that have really strong conference systems of church planting, including being able to find, equip, 
uh, plant new churches and multiply. The other exciting thing we learn is that we have conferences like the Florida Conference or the North Georgia Conference that are willing to be partners with other conferences in their church planting work. And so that is something we celebrate from the road trip. I had the opportunity to visit the Western jurisdiction along with some other Path One staff and associates and I was excited about what I saw and what the, what the other ones saw as well in terms of emerging communities of faith among Filipino Americans, Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, reaching new people groups within the jurisdiction, and also some of the what we call the out-of-the-box, non-traditional church planting that is happening in the Western jurisdiction that can be applied, we can learn from them, and bring it to other parts of the country as well. Across the Northeastern United States, Methodism is being reborn. I think about 10 years ago, what you would have seen was really a church that was dying, and we still have a lot of churches that are closing. Um, churches are much smaller than they used to be. However, um, the, every annual conference is now staffed to resource new church development. One annual conference, the Upper New York Conference is alone, is trying to plant 100 new churches in this quadrennium. What we're seeing is just a surge of new life that will create a Methodism for the future. Um, diverse, um, less than full-time pastors, many lay. We have one woman in New York City, um, a physician by day, and um, she pastors a church on the weekend. And um, this is becoming the norm of what uh, Methodism is going to look like in that part of the country. And the neat thing is, is it's easily multipliable. Um, so um, I'm really excited about the future of Methodism in the Northeast. We feel so fortunate to have been able to be at the grassroots with planters in conversation, with annual conference leaders, learning about how to go about doing church planting in the 21st century. We're coming back with so much information that are in our reports, our jurisdictional reports, our overall report, our executive summary report. We will continually build on the reports that, are coming, that have come out. And we will also be able to add to that these resources, new resources to help fuel the movement of church planting in the United States going forward. Now that we have all this information, we plan to do the following. Number one, to address the isolation in church planting, we're gonna host a gathering of national church planters in January 2015. We, we learned that there were women that felt isolated and not networked or connected. We're gonna host a women in church planting gathering this fall. We're also gonna host a gathering of church planting practitioners along with seminary professors called the Professors and Practitioners Gathering to begin to create Wesleyan church planting resources. So we are excited about the future of Methodist church planting. <music>